As we're at the week 3 mark of Season of Discovery, Phase 2, we've had a fair share of trial and error to figure out how to maximize our damage output. And with fights being shorter and shorter, there are two builds that clearly come out on top for the ranged hunter. Yes, Range Hunter still lags behind the rest of the DPS, including Melee Hunter. But that doesn't mean that you can't do competitive damage, and with Aspect of the Lion and True Shot Aura for Marksmanship, there will always be a right spot for us Hunters. And as such, here is how to maximize your damage as a ranged Hunter. First we'll go over the build that is the most widespread towards the top of the rankings and the spec that will probably make you do the most damage. It's also the spec that I think you should not be playing for most of your raid comps. And that's the Beast Mastery build. The BM build goes 41 points deep into BM, and for you who instantly exited full screen to go down to the comment section to write, um, actually, you only need 3 out of 5 frenzy to maintain the buff, and uh, yeah, while that's true, there are no alternatives in the BM tree that will actually give us any value in a rating scenario, and thus, putting 5 out of 5 will allow you to potentially pick up the frenzy buff quicker on pull. On chest, we run hard the lion if you're the only hunter, which we usually are. And if not, master marksman will on average give you more damage. On gloves, we run chimera shot since it pierces armor and will allow us to get more crits with our range attacks, which will be needed to have higher uptime on our waist rune, which will be exposed weakness. On legs, we run sniper training, and on feet, we run trap launcher. With this build, your pet will be responsible for approximately 30% of your damage, and your globals will be filled with prioritizing Chimera Shot, then Molder Shot, then Imbolation Trap, and then Arcane Shot. Yes, we're back to using Arcane Shot, and we'll talk a little bit more about why later in the video. The second build, which I recommend for most raid groups, is the Deep Marksmanship build. For our runes, we run the same build as the Beast Mastery build. The Master Marksman rune gives you more value with this build due to the Mortal Shot's talent, giving your crits 30% bonus damage. So make sure to swap to that rune if you have a second hunter in your group who uses the aspect of the Lion. So why would we want to run MM if it does less damage than BM? First of all, it really doesn't do less damage. The reason why you see more BM hunters towards the top of the logs is because MM scales better with gear and people just aren't that geared yet. MM currently have several of the rank 1 spots for ranged hunters on several bosses. Second, True Shot Aura is contributing far more to the raid than you think. 50 attack power corresponds to about 20 DPS increase on average for each member it affects. Since you buff 4 people, that means that BM would need to make you do 80 more DPS to make you break even. Taking a look at the logs, the difference between the rank 1 BM and rank 1 MM is never large enough to justify the 80 DPS loss for the raid. The only exception would be if you're running a comp where you have 5 melees and where it isn't a benefit to have you in the melee group, but that is incredibly rare in this phase. Alright, to squeeze out additional DPS as either spec, there are a few things we can do to maximize our damage potential. You want to make sure to have two one-handers, namely Vanquish the Sword and the Sentinel's Blade, while enchanting both with this mantle. The enchant does indeed proc from ranged attacks, thus giving you a lot of value. Additionally, having two weapons allow you to use two lesser wizard oils, giving you 32 spell power. In addition to the lesser wizard oil, we also want to run lesser arcane elixir for additional 14 spell power. The 88 extra spell power that we get from our elixir, weapon oils, and the will buff adds 88 damage to our serpent sting over its duration, and the serpent sting effect of chimera shot gets a boost as well. Further, it's a solid buff to arcane shot if you don't run aim shot. Arcane Shot has a base scaling of 43.5%, but due to the weird crit scaling with Arcane Shot, it gains 140% crit spell power scaling, making it absolutely a viable spell to cast. There are even builds right now in Season of Discovery that utilize full spell power sets that can parse 99s on some fights. But for now, it's still a lot worse than attack power build is, but it'll be fun to follow. It goes without saying that we should always have an elixir of agility running, and for most fights, having a Sagefish Delight active will be a benefit to your DPS as well. When it comes to rune variants on a 5x5 fight fight basis, there is really not a lot to say. The only fight where you could potentially swap runes is on Menagerie, where Explosive Shot does extremely well if all three mobs are stacked. Not only will the damage output be higher, but the constant crits from Explosive Shot will also trigger your exposed weakness. There is potential for swapping to Serpent Spread on this fight as well, but I think it's kind of bait unless you, for whatever reason, constantly have to move. 
You'll want to have access to a Boomkin or Enhanced Shaman as well as someone with an Epic Fist Weapon. Not only do you do more damage with your abilities with those two debuffs active, but that will also allow you to bring your Wind Serpent with Rank 3 Lightning Breath, which will outperform the Cat on all mechanical bosses. In terms of raid composition, the biggest thing that will increase your parts is playing with people who can pump. The shorter the kill time, the higher your DPS will be. Of course, you'll want to have a Priest with Homunculi, Druid for Mark of the Wild, and a Paladin for Wisdom on you and Might on your pet. If you meet all of these conditions, then it's just a matter of getting good at the game or getting more gear. I've recently released a best in slot guide for range hunters where I go over some gearing tips that you might not know, so make sure to check that out. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.